Hey, what's up guys? It's Adrenaline here. Sorry for the lack of updates of, of videos. I've been super busy, so that's the reason why I haven't been seeing any videos for a whole year. I know, I'm pretty bad, so. Today's a special day. It's my very first green shirt I'm wearing. I feel pretty good in it. But there's also another special day where, first time in my life, I'm, I bought a digital camera by myself. Bought online stuff, so just going to the store because I just like the conveniency. Uh, it's I'm going to do an unboxing of the Canon PowerShot ELP H170 IS. It's 20 megapixels and it's blue, so I wanted a blue one. So, so most, most cameras they have black, but I wanted blue, so that's, that's my favorite color. So here's the box right here, and I'll show it to you guys right now. Here's a closer look of it. The box, the main color is black, as I said before, but the one I'm getting is uh, uh, blue. So here's the side, 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 side. I'll just hang on for a sec. I forgot to mention something. Uh, it costs $188.99. It's in Canadian dollars, so you don't have to convert it. I bought it online on Best Buy Canada. Uh, if you guys haven't known yet, uh, Best Buy and Future Shop are combined into one. So it's no longer Future Shop, it's been a big business corporate merger. Uh, basically, they're the same, same company before, but now they're fused into one, so now there's no more Future Shop, unfortunately. It's only Best Buy, so they're all converted to Best Buy. I uh, bought it online, and they only give you Canada posts. It's really fast, it's only within three days, it arrived pretty quickly. And it's free shipping. Anything over thirty dollars you buy online is free, so that's good. And that's one hundred eighty-eight dollars ninety-nine cents. Uh, that's plus the GST. So there's that. Uh, what else is there? I think that's it. Oh, I'll go back to the unboxing. All right, open it up right now. So here we go. As you see, it's a limited time warranty. The uh, instruction manual and you know, the cardboard they give you. Separate the thing. So here it is. There's the bat uh, battery charger right here. Let's put it down here. Get the bag for this. So, put the battery here. This is the outlet right here. Slide in. Slide out. Battery here, but I took it out because I wanted to turn it on close to you guys. So, here's the wrist strap, it's really good and handy if you accidentally drop it. And here is the camera itself, gives you a tag right here, a little, little string 25 millimeter, 12 to zoom. So, it gives you that sleeve right there. Here's the camera here. Uh, in person, when I saw it, it looked like bluish purple here. Guys, guess was the lens, but right here, I guess it's the lighting. You can see it's still blue. Here's the back of it, viewfinder, and I'll show you what it looks inside. Okay. See this thing pops out when you turn on the viewfinder here. Uh, full disclosure: I already set up the time. It does the time when you do first insert the battery and charge it. So you have to charge the battery first. Uh, I'm not sure how long it does it. I think it's for like uh, three, four hours. I think. And so the fully charged, it tell you, give you a green light uh, showing it's uh, fully charged based on the uh, battery charger there. And this thing auto shuts off if you don't use it. So. I guess that's good to save battery. Let's turn it back on. There you go. Uh, menu. So it shows all you these these things are right here.
Uh, I'm just gonna go really fast for you guys because you know, I'm trying to make this video short, so sorry about that. So, uh, menu. and the function is this see, self auto timer. Drive mode, recording panel. Sorry about that. So you can choose how many seconds you want. Ten seconds, two seconds right here, or custom. So that's pretty cool. That's why the main reason I bought it because the you can do more than ten seconds for self timer. You want to take a shot automatically by yourself. And there's also a remote shooting, we need a smartphone for that, and you download the app and hopefully you can use our smartphone to shoot it right away, it's pretty cool. Uh, here's what I picture lately. I shot a picture of myself just to see how, how it is for the first time. Uh, no, where's my picture? Yeah. There it is. Right here. So it's basically, looks pretty good, it's pretty bright. It's 20 megapixels, so it's, hopefully it's better than all the other cameras I used before. But they weren't mine, they were my sister's, so. But other than that, I borrowed them and want a camera for myself, I finally got one, and this one's pretty good, so. I recommend it. There should be a few left online, you can buy online. Uh, I called the Best Buy Canada on the phone, they keep saying this, they don't have it, they don't know. I don't know when it's going to ship in store, so I guess the only choice you can do if you want to buy this specific model is buy it online. I'll give it a 8 out of 10 for now. i to take more shots and stuff like that. Also, there's a, a movie mode, so you can shoot movies on it. I haven't tested that yet, out yet. But if you guys want like a, new, uh, a video for that, maybe uh, doing a review for that, let me know in the comments below. Wait for the camera. And yeah. Shut this off right now. Okay. So yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully, I will do more product review videos or more unboxings and some uh, gaming videos soon. I just gotta find the time to do it. It's been so hard. So, but yeah. So this is Adrenaline here. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.